and welcome to x-ray review this video is about the gastric air bubble what it looks like on a x-ray and how not to confuse it with pathology so here is a frontal view of the lumbar spine and you'll notice in the left upper abdomen a large area of radiolucency which represents air in the stomach this gastric air bubble otherwise known as a magenblas is variable in size and it really depends on what the patient has recently eaten. As long as this air bubble is in the left upper quadrant underneath the hemidiaphragm, then it just represents normal gastric air and does not represent a tumor or pathology. So we're going to look at a lot of different examples of normal presentations of gastric air and then a few examples of abnormal gastric air. On this patient, there is a large amount of gastric air visualized under the left hemidiaphragm and the left upper quadrant of the abdomen. And although this is a lot of gastric air, it's normal. This is a considerable amount of gastric air. And although it may look alarming, it's within normal limits. It's underneath the hemidiaphragm in the left upper quadrant. This is acceptable. When obstructions occur, those usually occur in the lower or small intestines. On this case, it's tough to miss that big black spot in the left upper abdomen. And while this gastric air bubble is very prominent, it does not represent pathology. A mass or a tumor will show up as an area of increased density, not an area of lucency that we're seeing here. Now this is an example of where the gastric air bubble helps us find pathology. Let's take a close look at the hemidiaphragm and areas of radiolucency or gas that we can see. Once zoomed in, there's an area of gas underneath the hemidiaphragm, which is normal, but then there is this, also this large round density with an air fluid level inside. And this represents a hiatal hernia, which is a portion of the stomach which is herniated superior of the hemidiaphragm. This is another example of a hiatal hernia. Note the position of the gastric air bubble. Hiatal hernias tend to be midline, so if there's not a clearly visible gastric air bubble under the left hemidiaphragm, look midline. On this frontal thoracic view, you'll observe a large gastric air bubble but then there's also an additional air bubble midline. This area right here represents the hiatal hernia. Now there is such a thing as too much air and typically with a bowel obstruction, this is gonna occur in the small or large intestines. And if you think of your gastrointestinal tract as a tube, if that tube is pinched or kinked, uh, then you'll get an extreme amount of backup of air. And that's what we're looking for with a bowel obstruction. And typically this is a dilatation of the small or large intestines measuring greater than 12 centimeters. And there are a number of signs that go with this. And uh, this can be covered in a different video. This is the most extreme example of a bowel obstruction that I have seen uh, this is actually a lumbar spine study, even though it looks like a chest. There's so much air in the abdomen and bowel that it's expanding out like a balloon. You can see all that air on the frontal view and everything else just compacted down. This homogeneously dense shadow represents the liver. It's being compressed back. And then you can actually see the lung field up here. So again, an extreme example, and this is a medical emergency. All right, so a radiolucent area in the left upper abdomen most likely represents what? And that would be the gastric air bubble. Visualization of the gastric air bubble superior to the left hemidiaphragm is suggestive of And the correct answer would be a hiatal hernia. 
Is there normal or abnormal gastric air on this image? This would be abnormal. The gastric air should be on the left side of the patient. This air is on the right side and this is not normal. And finally, what does the radiolucency in the left upper abdomen represent? And of course, that would be normal gastric air. And that concludes this video on the gastric air bubble. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Thanks.